Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In our today's video, we are going to understand what is the meaning of degree of unsaturation and we will also see how can we calculate the degree of unsaturation by one by seeing the structure and also by the use of a formula. Okay, so first let us understand what is the meaning of saturation and unsaturation. Now, what is the meaning of saturation? Saturation means we are talking about saturated compounds like saturated compounds. What is an example of a saturated compound? It is alkane, the simplest functional group alkane. Okay, so saturation and unsaturation we are talking in terms of hydrogen. So saturated compound means more hydrogen cannot be added. Okay, more hydrogen cannot be added. That means the compound is saturated with hydrogen. We cannot add more hydrogen. You can think of like a saturated solution and unsaturated solution. In unsaturated solution, what happens? We can add more solute. Similarly, in unsaturation, in, a, in an organic compound means we can add more hydrogen. Okay, we can add more hydrogen. What is the example of unsaturated compound? Alkene alkyne okay any compound that has triple bond or ring okay let us understand this with the help of an example so let us take first the example of simplest alkane ch3 ch3 so this is an example of a saturated compound what is the molecular formula the molecular formula is general molecular formula is what cn h2n plus 2 okay if i put n number of carbons are 2 so c2 h 2 into 2 plus 2 so we have c2 h 6 2 to the 4 plus 2 6 c2 h 6 is the molecular formula for alkane which is a saturated compound now if we talk about an unsaturated compound let's say it is this molecule this is which molecule ethene ethene what is the general formula for alkene this is alkene. What is the general formula for alkene? CnH2n. So here if I put n is equal to 2, what I will get? C2H4. So here you can see, okay, let us first also write the formula for, for alkyne. Alkyne will be CH triple bond CH. This is what? This is alkyne. What is the general formula for alkyne? CnH2n minus 2. So it will be C2, H2 to the 4 minus 2 is 2. So if we compare all the three molecular formulas, if we compare alkene with alkane, here there are how many hydrogens? Six hydrogen. Here there are two hydrogens that are less. So that is why we can do a hydrogenation reaction on alkene and what we can get? We can get alkane. Okay, if we add H2 and any metal like H2PD, then we can get this alkane. Similarly, here if we see here there are in al alkyne we see here there are only two hydrogens. That means four hydrogens are less as compared to alkane. Alkane there are six hydrogens. So here we can add two equivalent of H2 and then we will get what? We will get alkane. Okay, so that is why here in alkene and alkyne more hydrogens can be added that is they are unsaturated compound that is why we call them as unsaturated compound okay so now let us see in general some parts of the structure if they are given what will be the their degree of unsaturation suppose it is a there is one carbon carbon double bond then what will be the degree of unsaturation one if there is a carbon carbon triple bond what will be the degree of unsaturation Basically, what we have to count here, we have to count the number of pi bonds. So here there are two pi bonds. So the degree of unsaturation is going to be two. Suppose I write C triple bond N. What will be the degree of unsaturation for this? It is going to be, again, it is going to be two. If any ring is present, okay, a six-membered ring, let's say a six-membered ring, then what is going to be the degree of unsaturation? It is going to be one. Suppose if I tell you to find out the degree of unsaturation in this compound benzene, what will be the degree of unsaturation here? Here there is one ring plus you can see there are three pi bonds, that is three double bonds. So one 
plus 3. So the degree of unsaturation for benzene it is going to be 4. So now let us try to apply this on this examples and find out the correct answer. This is a saturated compound. So what is the degree of unsaturation? Degree of unsaturation will be 0. Degree of unsaturation is 0. Here there is one double bond, so degree of unsaturation is 1. Here there are two pi bonds, so degree of unsaturation is 2. Here again there are two pi bonds, so degree of unsaturation is 2. Here if we see there is one cyclohexane ring plus there is one double bond. So 1 plus 1, so degree of unsaturation is 2. Benzene, we saw just now there is one ring. There is one ring plus there are three double bonds. So 1 plus 3, total degree of unsaturation is 4. Here if we see there are how many rings? Rings there are two. Okay, one is this ring and another this ring. And if we talk about number of double bonds, there are 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 double bonds. So 5 plus 2, total degree of unsaturation here is 7. And this is which molecule? Okay, this was benzene. This is which molecule? This was naphthalene. Okay, and this is what? This is anthracene. So what is going to be the degree of unsaturation here? Total how many rings are present? 1, 2 and 3. So rings are 3. How many double bonds are present? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 7 double bonds. So 7 plus 3 total degree of unsaturation is 10. Okay, so this was how to find out the degree of unsaturation using the structure that is given. What if only molecular formula is given? Okay, only molecular formula is given. Okay, if only molecular formula is given, then we can use a formula, okay, direct formula to calculate the degree of unsaturation. So, what is the formula? Degree of unsaturation, degree of unsaturation is equal to C plus 1 minus H plus X minus N divided by 2. Okay, what is C? C is the number of carbon atoms. What is H? H is hydrogen. What is X? X is halogens. What, what is the meaning of halogens? Group 17 elements that is fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. What is N? N is the nitrogen atom. Okay, so this is the formula that you can remember to find out the degree of unsaturation directly from the molecular formula that is given. Okay, so this is the first question. Here, let us again write down the formula. Degree of unsaturation, I can write in, in short as DOU. C plus 1 minus of H plus X minus N divided by 2. Okay, so first we can find out all the values. Number of carbons are 5. Number of hydrogen is 10. Nitrogen is 1. Halogen X is how much? There is 1 chlorine. Okay, so it is 1. So degree of unsaturation will be carbon is 5 plus 1 minus hydrogen is 10 plus halogen is 1 minus nitrogen is 1. Okay, divide by 2. So 5 plus 1, 6, 6 minus this plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. So degree of unsaturation is 1. So if I draw the structure, from the structure also, okay, structure of this compound, it is going to be like this. Okay, N and Cl. Here if you count the total number of hydrogens and carbon, okay, it is the same as this, uh, same as the molecular formula that is given, okay. Okay, so if we count total carbons, there are how many carbons? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbons. So C5, then how many hydrogen? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, here hydrogen is not there. Here there will be a lone pair. Okay, so what will be the... Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Hydrogen is present. So H10, 
one nitrogen and one CS. Here, if you see, there are how many? What will be the degree of unsaturation? There is only one ring. Okay, so the degree of unsaturation is one. So you can see from the formula also we get the same answer. And by looking at the structure also, we can come to know the answer is going to be the same. Now can find out for this molecule, second example. Degree of unsaturation will be number of carbon is 8 plus 1 minus number of hydrogen is 10 plus number of halogen is 0 minus number of nitrogen is 4 divided by 2. So 8 plus 1, 9, 9 minus 10 minus 4 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 9 minus 3 is 6, so degree of unsaturation is 6. This is a molecular formula for caffeine. So let us also see by the structure whether the answer is same or not. So here there are how many rings? There are two rings. And how many double bonds? One, two, three and four. So four double bonds. So here also from the structure also we can come to know degree of unsaturation is six. So I hope you have understood. The, how to calculate degree of unsaturation by seeing the structure as well as by using the formula. Thank you so much.